Hey guys, here we are at the VW Nut Garage. Uh, today there is not a Volkswagen in here. Today it is my uh, my little Honda car. Uh, it needs front brakes, so the brake parts are right over there. And I'm going to put them on here, so I'll get you guys set up. We'll start with jacking it up, put it on jack stands, and see how fast we can get some brakes put on this Honda. Commence to jack. I guess move you and get the tire ripped up. Ripped off. Get the tire ripped off of there. There was a couple of uh, probably 13 millimeters on the back side of uh, the caliper here. So I sprayed some stuff on there to help them come loose. And they're not 13s. Maybe they're. Maybe. I'm going to say 14. They're 14. So go with that. Not too bad. I'm sure my head's right in the shot. Those should free up the caliper so that that will come off of there. Probably with some prying. So that's the inside one. And this is the outside one. Uh, it's definitely time for brakes. Um, the winter's here. Uh, I drive this car primarily only when the weather's really bad. So they put a lot of salt on our roads and uh, this is what it does to your braking system. Like you can see this rotor is just super chewed up. So we'll get the uh, caliper bracket off of there and uh, get to taking this screw and this screw out of there, which usually are fun. And we'll put some new rotors and put her back together. Well, these weren't too bad. I just, uh, I put this in there and then hit it with a hammer a couple of times and uh, seemed to help break them loose. A little bit of that breaks or loose stuff, any of, the, uh, any of the normal stuff you use to break your nuts loose should be just fine. So that should make it so my rotor comes right off of there. However, 
my rotor has different ideas. So we'll spray her down and get to whacking on her a little bit and see what happens. All right, well, as you can see, it's off of there. And if it wasn't for the rust, and I believe it's probably the rust that was in this region right here, and uh, the fact that these were cooked, uh, we probably wouldn't have to do this. But um, it wasn't too bad. Like I said, everything came loose pretty good. So we'll get to putting her back on, back together. Okay. So uh, I put a little bit of grease on these right here, these that slide in to the caliper bracket. Just to, whatever I had handy, just some regular high temperature bearing grease would probably work just fine for this application. And uh, we'll get this put back together. You can see the... Um, the new rotors on there, so bonus. Um, hopefully, I remember how this goes. I think. If not, I got a whole other side I can look at. But I think I got her. Oh yeah, definitely I got her. It goes like that, Brian. So coming in today. Hi, puppy dogs. Wait. How are you doing? Patina's here, running around under attacking things in the garage. Get those tightened up. Well, we're tightening up the last couple of bolts here on the uh, on the passenger side, and uh, all in all, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. They make these cars pretty easy to slam brakes right on. Uh, a lot of people, if you got any sort of ability to spin a wrench, you could probably do it yourself. Um, it's not too bad. Alright, so it is halfway done. And I considered this one to be the hard side because uh, it was the one making noise. Alright, so we got all the new stuff on the driver's side. You could see it was plenty of rust like the other side. So definitely it was time to be done. Uh, everybody seems to be back together, tightened up and happy. So, Alright, so time to clean up the shop. I'd say we got every bit of use out of that uh, rotor right there.
Also, if you happen to have noticed where Walt is in this video, leave it in the comments. He moves around the shop all the time. Uh, he's just a little bit slow. And if you don't know who Walt is, um, go back a video or maybe two videos. I don't remember how long ago, but he's in there. As you can see, they had plenty of life left in them. Plenty. Alright so we're on a uh, test drive here in the uh, Honda car, hitting the brakes a few times and uh, what have you. Everything seems to be working just fine, as well as brand new brakes should. Um, I don't know, it's pretty easy, pretty happy. I'd like to thank you guys again for um, hanging out with me today in the VW Nug Garage. And for the guys that just want VW stuff, man. I'm sorry, I want just VW stuff, but around these parts, you can't drive an old Volkswagen in the winter. Well, you can, but it gets really rusty. So, um, anyway, we'll see you guys soon.